we're going to create a men's shoe box. Um, we're going to start with some recycled cardboard that I got from a my bed that I bought. So I'm going to put that to the side because before we start, we have to sketch or design our box. So the standard dimensions of a men's shoe box is 35 and 56 hundredths of a centimeter in length and 25 and 4 tenths of centimeters in width. So we've been talking about volume and you've learned how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. So we're going to start with the base of the box. The base of a shoe box is the area of the base that we were talking about when we cre well calculated the area of the volume of the rectangular prism. So it says that it is 35 and 56 hundredths of a centimeter in length. So we know that rectangle opposite sides are congruent. So the other side is 35 and 56 of a centimeter in length. Well, the width of the base of the box is 25 and 4 tenths. So we're going to label each side 25 and 4 tenths of a centimeter and 25 and 4 tenths of a centimeter. Now, the height of the shoe box that you're going to be making, each flap has to have a height of 12 and 7 tenths of a centimeter tall. So this is going to be labeled 12 and seven tenths. This sub flap is also going to be 12 and seven tenths of a centimeter. This side is also 12 and seven tenths of a centimeter high. That should have been on this side. 12 and 7 tenths of a centimeter. And on this side is 12 and 7 tenths of a centimeter tall. Now, like I said before, we know that the length of the rectangle is going to be 35 and 56 centimeters long. So that makes this flap. 35 and 56 centimeters long because it's the same length of the base of the rectangle, the length side. Then this side is also 35 and 56 centimeters long. Well, the width, the side flaps are going to be shorter than the length flaps. So this is going to be 25 and 4 tenths centimeters and this side is going to be 25 and 4 tenths of a centimeter long. So there's our sketch of the box that we will be um, creating. So once you get your sheet um, after you have done your sketch, you will calculate the volume and the area of each flap. So each flap has a different area. So we know that to find the area, it is the base times the height. And to vol find the volume of the whole box, how much space it can hold is we're going to do the area of the base times the height.